just like that. We're on. We're back. We as are. if as if we didn't put in enough time in this room last Saturday. Crazy. That was 24 hours, John. Crazy. Yeah. Three, we, o- uh, three o'clock, you were... P.M. or A.M.? <laughs> a.m. 3 a.m. Yeah, that was... Yeah. But no, it was a lot of fun and uh, great guests, too. Yeah, it was good. Bob Saget kicking it off. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. and That's awesome. Yeah. Yes. And he was supposed to be on for, like we said, like 15 minutes. He ended up doing like an hour. Yeah. And we couldn't get him off. Couldn't get rid of him. No, it was great. We That's were, awesome. Yeah, yeah. You're too young That's to know who Bob Saget is. The person I'm referencing, if you're not watching and you're just listening because you're one of those listeners, is Kevin Kroon from the UFC is with us today. Yeah, Bob Saget does cocaine. Heck yeah. Yeah, there you go. All right. Heck yeah. Sure. You know, he's dabbled in a couple right. of things here. There you go. For sure. Yeah. He's we used to suck dick for Coke. I know. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Oh, yeah. We did a 24 hour live podcast last Saturday for some Damn. stupid, for no apparent reason. We just were <laughs> like, hey, there wasn't this is a decided. charity involved. There was nothing. Nothing. We should do a charity. People next, would actually care. Yeah, next year, maybe. <laughs> right? Yeah. Somebody had mentioned we're doing a 48 hour one next year. I will not be. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I had 24 is enough, man. Yeah. You ever? Are you, how many all nighters have you pulled in your day? Not podcasting, just up for 24 hours is definitely, definitely more than I should have. You strike sure. me as a borderline wild man. I uh, am a wild man. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Yeah, definitely. Well, anybody that gets in that octagon has to have a something. Hundred percent. You know, Something's going wrong. Right. For yeah. Sure. Normal yeah. people don't do it. You know? No, normal people Heck don't yeah. do that. Get all juiced up. Let's go. Man. Right. What it's, made you want to do that? Oh, dog, it's the dopest dope I've ever smoked. Oh, my God, man. Uh, uh, It is, huh? For sure. I was like, uh, I mean, kind of born, a born fighter. I think I was born so my parents had something to fight about. You know what I mean? (laughs) Like, so, uh, you know, just grew up with a lot of strife and shit. And uh, it just just worked out, man. All I've ever wanted to do is wrestle in Rough House. Like, all all my friends have gotten annoyed at me at some point for uh-huh. me, like, trying to wrestle with them, you know, just... Your brothers? It just worked out. No brothers, man. Wow. Only... I grew up with two sisters, two real sisters, and two stepsisters, the youngest. So, out in the country, no friends, no nothing, you know what I mean? It's pretty right. lame, so... Uh, That's... Uh, in the country, is that Columbia, Missouri? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, like, I, we grew up out, out of town, so, like, we didn't have a farm, but there's tons of farms all around and stuff, a bunch of woods... It's like where I spend most of my time. How far is Columbia from like Branson? Yeah, I was telling like Kevin before hours. we started that I, I did a stint in Branson, Missouri. He was shocked. He were, you had that shock look like, really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, I've been there for yeah. sure. Definitely, definitely just want to drive through. It's not not the most fun. I I did. <laughs> uh, I either, <laughs> my, my parents used to remodel houses. And so for one spring break, I believe my sophomore year, I, my options were remodel a house with my parents or mm. go to Branson with my grandparents. So I went to Branson with my grandparents. Okay. Wow. Did you regret it? <laughs> uh, not really. I, I may have taken the remodeling, actually. Yeah. <laughs> my, my parents were slave drivers. So, really? Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy I went. Uh, yeah, man. It, it was interesting for sure. Did you wrestle in high school then? Or? I did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Very cool. And yeah. what do your parents think about life now for you as a fighter? Are they like, wow, you did it? Yeah. Super... Super happy, super supportive. Uh, my mom, like I remember when I was an amateur, I kept telling my mom that uh, she couldn't come because I didn't want her to see me get beat up. Mm-hmm. And I went 20 and 0 as an amateur. Wow. <laughs> so at about like six or seven and 0, she was like, oh, You're not getting beat up, so I want to come. You know, and uh-huh. like, so she started coming. She comes to a lot of my fights, and, and my dad's really supportive. And not only I mean, did you not get beat up, I feel like you finished everyone too back, back then, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Give or take. I think. Uh, my first, I think, six six fights went to decision, and then my last twelve went. Last twelve or thirteen, I finished, and then I think I had one that I didn't finish uh, after that. So yeah, I mean, back then it was just I had the cardio and I was tough. Mm-hmm. I didn't know anything, but nobody knew anything. Right. So you know, if you just just went out raw there, just skill and heart. Out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no skill, just, <laughs> just balls and, and heart, you know. But uh, yeah, I learned how to do a rear naked choke, and it, it was good, you know. <laughs> right, right. Now you mentioned your parents coming to your fights, and I've asked a couple of the USC fighters recently. Going into these fights now with no fans, how has it impacted you, or has it impacted you at all? Uh, I mean, I, I don't really mind it, you know. Like, uh, I. 
I love the fans. I like that they like me. That's cool. But, man, I do everything for myself. Like, it's all to entertain me. I, I come up. I always have, like, a weird walkout song or, like, you know, something crazy. I, I just came out to Dolly Parton, uh, 9 to 5. Uh, <laughs> My first fight was What a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. You know, like, I mean, I'm always coming out to something different, but, like, I do that for me. It's not for anybody else, you know? And so, like, I'm happy people like it, but uh, it hasn't really changed anything, you know, like, because it's just me and the job. Right. So, I mean, I want fans that yeah. would be cool. It, it kind of sucks to kind of get famous and then have to wear a mask everywhere. Right. This right. is number one bullshit. <laughs> like, I haven't got to a party in my hometown yet. You right. Know what I mean? so yeah, like, you're getting cheated. This is bullshit. You right. Know? But it, other than that, it's really not a big deal for me. Yeah. You know, like you can hear your coaches really well. No, no big thing. You right. Know? And James definitely talks a yeah, lot. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. for sure. For yeah. sure. And maybe the next time you make the walk, you come out to a Tony Orlando song. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. I might have to check you it know? out. Yeah, for sure. Wow. For sure. So cheesy. No? For sure. No, we're trying to get the win here. Yeah, exactly. Let's not. Yeah. yeah, don't do that. Don't do it. Uh, we want you to be motivated. Yeah. You know, not put you to sleep. Uh, yeah, you know. tie a yellow ribbon. Yeah, good. it's no good. <laughs> knock three times. Maybe knock, you know. Uh, uh, we're stretching. All we're right. Stretching fine. I tried, Adam. That's all right. I'm down. Maybe. We'll yeah. see. All you know? right. Yeah. I'll, I'll put it on the list. I got a big list. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. Well, the good thing about it is your list. I guarantee nobody else. You're not going to have. A I've come out to like a virgin. <laughs> uh, do you really want to hurt me, by boy George? Love like, it. I mean, just like I'm all over the fucking place. <laughs> yeah. You know? like, so awesome. but I always like as an amateur. I remember seeing people come out to like the most gangster songs, like Metallica, hardcore, right? You know, fucking Tupac, all this shit, and then they go out there and they get choked out in like two seconds. And I just remember being like, man, like my walkout song can't be harder than me. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and so since then, I've tried to make my walkout yeah. song not harder than I am. So. That's funny. <laughs> um, I'm real good friends with Josh Reddick. He's a baseball player, yeah. plays for the ass. Well, now he's a free agent, which is another strange uh, topic. But anyway, uh, and he used to come out to Careless Whisper, <laughs> like like uh, George nice. Michael. <laughs> nice. Yeah. 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 Same kind of thing. Yeah. You know? There's been some interesting ones through the years. What yeah. would you walk out to, Adam? If you're gonna fight tomorrow night. You're gonna make the walk into the cage. What are you coming out to? What, what is song Adam gives Lieberman? You goosebumps? Yeah. Give me a second. Let me. All think right. Of, think about that. We'll come back to that. One. Yeah. All right. Let me circle back. I tried to get Jake Ellenberger once to walk out to Mama said knock you out, and he was like, "No, that's fucking dumb." He, yeah. he didn't. He didn't like no. that idea. Somebody. Somebody came out to that. To fight me once. Really? Because their mom told them to knock me out, but they didn't. No so, good. What are you going to do? You did know? you knock them out on I, that one? I didn't. Okay. I didn't. That but was you won the, the fight. Yeah, I did win the fight. Yeah. 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 Yep. <laughs> yep. And uh, what was your path to the UFC? How did how did it come about? Fuck, man. It's been a long one. Uh, uh, I've been fighting now 14 years. Uh, I got in the UFC on the 13th year, you know? So, uh, man, I... Uh, I didn't ever really have any help. I didn't have a manager for the longest time. I was just kind of fucking dumb kid with more brain, more balls than brains. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I started, I didn't like have the goal to be in the UFC. My goal was just to be the most badass motherfucker I could be. I wanted to fight everybody. You know what I mean? Like travel the world. And I've done that. I've, I've fought a ton of huge names. I've fought all over the world. Uh, I mean, my record's not that pretty, but, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, and uh, I finally moved, like, about four years ago, moved back to Kansas City and uh, got with James Krause, mm -hmm. uh, started working with him. We we put a streak together, and uh, he told he told me that uh, as soon as the COVID, COVID restrictions hit, he's like, hey, man, like uh, – there's in crisis there's going to be opportunity you know so if you stay in the gym and you keep working like you'll get you'll get your goals achieved and uh i did that man i, I fucking probably put more work in than i ever have during the quarantine and uh i i fought and won a fight that was on ufc fight pass the the sean shelby watched it a few people saw it and uh two weeks later i i got the call 36 hours notice a weight class up and uh, four, and a tough customer, four to one underdog. Yeah, man, came in. I didn't even know who I was fighting until I got to the airport. Wow. Really? Like, yeah, I had to that like, was the Roosevelt Roberts fight, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Until like I got the call and I was like doing medicals and I had to like rush home, throw my mouthpiece in a bag, throw a couple things in the bag, run to the airport. I like 
barely got to I got to the airport 30 minutes before the plane left like Russian and uh finally got through security sat down found James and I was like all right who am I fighting and James starts laughing you know? <laughs> and, and I mean it didn't matter at that point you know right. I mean it, it is what it is and it all worked out really well for me yeah so. that was a, you got a bonus for that one right I did I yeah. did 50k baby. Oh, oh nice. Cool. Heck yeah. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, and then they they changed it to a no contest, yeah. right? <laughs> and, but, These fuckers. But now isn't it now it's okay, right? Uh, like 3 weeks no. later or no? No. I thought no, I read okay. something where so weed yes, is okay now. The UFC and USADA don't have a problem with weed, but they never really had a problem with weed. It's Nevada State Commission oh. who who penalized me yep. and took my win away when like I got there and I told him, "Hey, I've been I've been smoking. I was smoking. I took the hour, fight on thirty six hours notice. I was smoking forty hours ago. Right. You know, nobody cares about the beers that I was drinking the day before. You know what I mean? <laughs> they don't care about the mushrooms that I took fucking the day before. You know what I mean? <laughs> that fucking weed got me. How man. dare that, you? That, that, yeah. That fucking joint, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? That powered you to uh, victory. God damn right. It, right. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. So the Nevada Gaming Commission doesn't allow weed. Yeah, man. You can bang hookers here, but you can't smoke weed in fist fight. <laughs> All right, wow. this is bullshit. Okay, all right. And then somebody's like, "Oh, actually, as a matter of fact, you can't bang hookers in Nevada or oh, in Vegas, right. but you in, can in, in Nevada." Yeah. Oh, who gives a fuck? <laughs> right. I drive twenty minutes this yeah. way, and I yeah. can hook. I can and, legally get a prostitute. Yeah. Fuck you. Whoever says yeah. that clearly hasn't been to the lobby of the Bellagio yeah, on right. a Friday night yeah. because. Yeah. Yeah. But again, uh, the or, uh, excuse me, the um, cat houses are actually closed during quarantine, unfortunately. Oh, are and they during COVID? Yes. Okay. There's actually yeah, yeah, going but right now. those hookers are working boy. let me tell you the last time i was here i uh, not the last time i came out here in june <laughs> with my buddy i cornered my buddy and uh we're walking through and i like start talking to this girl and she's like oh hey daddy you want my number you know what i mean right and he's new he didn't know anything he, oh like, no he thought i was, thought was cool he thought it was his lucky he, day he, no it was, or, it yeah. me. he was like okay. man dog she's a hot way to go and you I'm got like, game oh no buddy that's a hooker <laughs> right like, for sure yeah. they don't give out the yeah. numbers like that unless they're trying to get money from yeah. you yeah. he's yeah. like i should have just let him think i was that cool but i couldn't you know? yeah <laughs> i always tell my friends that come here that don't really know vegas that well and i'll be like hey if a really hot girl starts talking to you and giving you attention um she's not interested <laughs> yeah, in you she just wants all. a little money yeah, yeah for sure yeah they don't know i remember the uh phone bank at the mirage hotel uh -huh. right at the bottom of the elevators between midnight and 2 a.m <laughs> oh my god it was trying to get access to come up uh, yeah oh right. everything it was insane <laughs> because we were living at the hotel at the time because uh -huh. uh, uh, my dad lived at the mirage for three years yeah and i remember going like all the time and yeah and at first i was like oh my god this is like a really pretty cool area right and then he explained it to me yeah. later on. oh okay right yeah that's what's going on that's what's going on dad yeah it's a crazy city it's full of um of contradictions this town uh, i got thrown out of harris casino for dropping the f-bomb at a blackjack table i mean are you kidding me surrounded like you said by hookers and drug dealers i'd literally been in that hotel for like 30 minutes i'd been propositioned like three times by hookers right. and like had two different guys come up to me and like hey man you need some blow you want to buy this you want the powder that? on your nose didn't mean anything right. but you yeah. dropped the f-bomb yeah you're fucking you, gone. You, <laughs> one f-bomb because you you bust for the fourth time in a row at blackjack and like nah get him out of here and if that was the case you wouldn't be allowed in any casinos in this city that's true <laughs> yes i have i have let the f word fly all over uh, yeah. the black. Did you gamble at all? You gambler? Yeah. The thing is, is I've always gambled with my health more than my money. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. I've never had money, and now now I have a little bit, and I don't I don't. Now you got something just, to lose. Yeah. I right. I don't want to just throw it away. My thing is, like, the few times I have gambled, I'll get up, like, 100, 200 bucks, and be like, all right, I'm out, you know? Right. And, like... Because two hundred bucks to me, I don't, that's fucked. That's a lot. Yeah, you know? right. Absolutely. So I can never like be really good at gambling because right. you know that's I good. lose twenty dollars. I'm like, oh god, that hurts. You know, I used to work construction, and it takes a long time to make twenty bucks right. working construction. You know right. what I mean? So yeah, it's, it's not as much fun. Uh, do you love living in Kansas City versus Columbia, Missouri? I do. Yeah, I. Uh, I, I moved. I haven't lived in Columbia in like over a decade. I, okay. I lived in Albuquerque. Uh, oh, really? I, I went out to Jackson's and mm. uh, trained to Jackson's for for quite a few years, and then uh, moved back to Kansas City. And yeah, man, I I 
like it much better than Columbia. Can't stand that place. <laughs> and uh, uh, much better than Albuquerque. Albuquerque is <laughs> the worst place. Yeah. Man. Dude, that I've place only is really dirty. driven through it. Oh, uh, dude, it Never made been. me a worse person. Like, I like went out there like a bright eyed, like kid from Missouri, talk to anybody, be nice to everybody, you know, and then like. You'd be out there for like eight years, and bro. Like it changes you. It changes <laughs> yeah. me. And then now, like I moved back to Kansas City, and it took me like a year to like not flex on people <laughs> when they're smiling at you. You know what I mean? Because like in in Albuquerque, everybody's trying to fight you. If they're looking at you, you got a problem. Really? You know what I mean, yeah, dude. It's it's a it's a dirty. Albuquerque place, is man. where Breaking Bad took yeah, place, yeah, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, no, okay. I've been to Santa so. Fe, and that's it's a little different. It's Santa so Fe. much different. Yeah, yeah. It's so much different. Thirty. 30 minutes away. It's yeah. It's a world of difference. Really? Yeah, and, yeah, dude. Albuquerque's like, they got like just this crazy culture there where it's just like, let's raise pit bulls, fight, and have 12 kids. Like, it's nice. Really? You know what I mean? Like, and in that yeah. order. Yeah. No, yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. And did you get to interact much with John Jones when you were over there? Yeah. We, What's he like? I, I'm I on mean, the fence. I keep going back and yeah, forth. Man, I can't decide. For sure. Like, so. <sighs> All I can say is I was like there when he became a millionaire and uh, he was he was 23 years old and I probably wouldn't be alive if I was a millionaire at 23. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, for sure. The kid's fucked up a whole bunch. He's, he's done some really dumb stuff that I can't necessarily excuse. But man, I like him. Like he's he's yeah. super cool. We've always been friends. We've always had a good time together. Uh I like him. I got yeah. nothing bad to say about him. You know what I mean? That's cool. And like I'll have people who'd be like, "Oh yeah, well, what about this, this, and this?" And I'll be like, "Fuck!" Like I mean, yeah. I can't, I can't really like defend him, but yeah. fuck me, I like him. Like, yeah, and he, and he has screwed up, you know, when we've said that. But but he also has this persona that he's t- taken up on himself. I don't want to say it's a bad guy persona, but you know, the comments for after the fights this weekend, he loves that. He loves yeah. the attention and he's I good at it. I think that's my gripe with him is like, I don't, I get fucking up like that. I've certainly fucked up a ton. You know, I'm always defending Conor McGregor's I point cause he's his little figurine is right there. <laughs> uh, I'm always defending him to, to my non Conor fan friends. Uh, like, you know, when, when's the last time you made a hundred million dollars before you were 30, you might just flip the fuck out too. Or oh, Justin but, Bieber or like, what do you want right. from these guys? Like, sure. come on, think about what you did when I'm you were be doing a lot worse than racing, racing a Lamborghini down right. the strip. You know right. what I mean? Like for yeah. sure. Yeah. So, but yeah, I don't like that. Like, I don't want John Jones to be the bad guy. Like the, his fight persona, like why not just be like GSP? Like be the, he chose the bad guy and I don't think it fits him. John Jones. Like, I just, I don't, I don't feel like, actually, I get the Diaz brothers. Like, yeah, they're like the bad guys. Yeah. Like, I get it. I don't you know, know if he actually chose it as much as it was put upon him because of his actions. Mm. You know, because yeah, like, maybe. how many fucking chances do you need right. to get? Oh, and I, right. But then he also, you know, he, he accepts it as well. Yeah. You know, sure. he'll, he'll play that. <laughs> yeah. You know, you look at somebody like uh, a Colby Covington or, uh, you know, even a Masvidal, yeah. you know. I don't know how they are out of the octagon or out of the spotlight, but, right? You know, I mean, they're completely. I'm sure they're completely different. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Arg- I, I see. I, I see. Ma- I don't know Moss at all, but I see him being very, very much like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, right. I imagine if he has a problem with you, he's gonna slap you wherever the fuck. You right. Are, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, you know, I don't know. I, I don't think Colby's probably like that. I think Colby's more more of an, more act. Of an act. You know, well, yeah. even I mean? like I was talking to Julian last week about. When he got up in that press conference, he was a completely different person <laughs> yeah. than right. he is when we talked to him. Yeah, you he know, went into character. Yeah, he went 100%. like hundred percent into so character. Much so, you know, and it was. Sure. I mean, it works. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, but also, no, you know, like I've, I've, we've talked about this. Like a Howard Stern. Howard Stern off the air is the nicest person, nicest guy in the world, and calm and not that. But shy, shy. How about oh, that? Yeah. Oh yeah, completely. Yeah. So yeah, but this one, going back to McGregor for a second, he is a. McGregor lover. That's I OD'd on the Kool Aid yeah. on Conor yeah. McGregor to for a sure. point that it's cost him several bets. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the he, uh, the uh, what is that chip? Oh, bro, the, that shit's terrible. I Julian did that. made me eat this stupid I did fucking that. chip. Uh, it's awful, right? You uh, like three or four weeks ago. Oh, I did it, I did it for my my vlog. Uh, getting ready for this fight, I work with like a youth program. Yeah, and they like challenge me and the the leader of the youth program to do it and. Terrible. Do you right, like spicy horrible. to begin with? I do like spicy. Okay, but I don't even a, like spicy. But there's like the line. That's way past spicy. There's the line yeah. where it's like over here you're having a good time and you step over that line and it ruins your day. Right. You, You've I, seen that Scoville uh, spice chart, right? Yeah. Yeah. The only thing higher than that is pepper spray. 
That's it. I didn't know that. Yes. But, uh, yeah, it's terrible. Hotter yeah. than the ghost pepper. Hotter than all that. Yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah screw that, that. That's one Awful. bet. And then the other bet, he ended up uh, in a adult diaper on the strip. Yeah. Yeah, I bet the guys from MMA Junkie Radio, <laughs> George and Goes. I don't know if you know George and Goes uh-huh. over at MMA Junkie. And uh, that was, I bet Connor was going to beat... Uh, was that the Mayweather? Mayweather. I, I don't know. What yeah. was I thinking on yeah, that one? Yeah, I mean, that's a rough one. Yeah. <laughs> Only the best boxer ever. <laughs> right, you know I mean? yeah. I thought Connor was going to knock him out. I don't know. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I guess. He got that one uppercut, though. You yeah, know? I, I mentioned that uppercut. Yeah, yeah. what about that yeah. uppercut? It was... <laughs> It was yeah. strong. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was, for sure. <laughs> Snapped the head back, the whole thing. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> that fight, like, actually, like, I actually got to see, like, I've always known Mayweather. I don't really like boxing. I'm not into boxing right. that great. You know what I mean? Uh, it's boring. I, it's so fucking boring. I, I've boxed. I, got, I have, like, six or seven pro boxing fights. I fucking can't stand boxing. Uh, however, like, you you just kind of got to see like how good Mayweather really is. Like he changed, yeah. he came out with like three different fighting styles. He yeah. like changed the way he fought three different times in one fight. Yeah. Uh, I just thought that was really yeah. fucking awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, really and I cool. like marching forward Mayweather. I wish yeah. he would have been that Mayweather the whole career. It would have been sure. more fun, instead way da- more fun. Instead of the dancing Mayweather? Yeah. I don't like shoulders. To sh- I, I, yeah. 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 Jaw feel. That Mayweather. I'm hip. Yeah. No good. You mentioned youth program. What? what uh, Warriors for Wyandotte. Okay. Uh, the uh, Wyandotte County in Kansas is like the lowest county. Uh, they have like the highest highest overdose rate, the highest suicide rate. Uh, the schools are garbage. Like you know, I mean, it's just uh, not not great. And especially with the whole COVID thing, uh, uh, the schools have been shut out. Like they're just now starting uh, to open schools back up. Because there's testing, and I don't know if you know this, but schools get money from testing. You know what I mean? So it's like mm-hmm. they've been out this whole time, like not <laughs> helping, and like most of these kids don't get fed and left right. at school wow. and stuff like that. When I was a kid, the only reason I wanted to go to school was to get it out of my house. You know what I mean? I couldn't mm-hmm. stand my home. You really? Know? You know? And so like I could only imagine being in this day and age when you couldn't even escape from your house, you know? Uh, and yeah, so luckily I got hooked up, uh, with these people, Warriors for Wine Dot. Uh, and, uh, it's really cool, really cool to work with them. Really cool to, to be around. And, uh, you know I mean? I'm just kind of trying to, trying to help out and be kind of what I needed as, as I, I grew up, you know, like, right. uh, I've made every wrong decision in the book. I've done all the drugs. I've done everything stupid. You know what I mean? And like, uh, I've found myself in my 30s, like, you know, with a bunch of motivation to make a better life for myself and, and, and change. That's great. Change everything. So, yeah, man, I mean, I, uh, I was told to do all the right things growing up. Everybody's like, oh, is that no. why you didn't like your home life? Because your parents were too strict? Is that what it was? Or <sighs> Yeah, and just kind of full of shit. You know what I mean? Like, they were very strict and very religious, but like, got it. I could like see Hip- how they hated their fucking life. Mm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's like, you're not happy. Like, right. I see you every day, like, not being happy. So why the fuck am I going to listen to anything you say? Mm-hmm. And so while they told me to do the right things, I didn't fucking want to listen to them because it's like, why would I listen to a fucking unhappy person trying to tell me how to be happy, you know? And so because of that, I did everything they told me not to do, which, you know, like, I had to do to realize, oh, hey, maybe, like, they were wrong in a lot of things they did, but like, eh, maybe I shouldn't steal. Maybe I shouldn't, you know, fucking do this. Maybe I shouldn't do that, you know. And so, like, I I just ran the gambit on everything. And uh, like I said, I'm a little bit of a wild man, <laughs> indeed. And uh, yeah, man. So I'm just kind of trying to be like a a real real person, you know. Yeah. Hey, man, I fucked up. I've made all these mistakes. You know what I mean? Especially like uh uh somebody who goes up there and fights and messes up and loses in front of the whole world. Like the shit's embarrassing and, and being able to show up the next week and, and not be hiding and being like, Hey man, like this. Okay. Like this is life, you know, like fucking sometimes things don't go your way, you know, and it's just a loss. It's just a loss. And you just get right back on the horse and keep riding, you know, and like, so that, that makes me feel good. It makes me feel good to be able to, to help out. And I mean, I don't even know if anybody's listening, but like, they are. I think. I think. Hopefully, and like. I mean, it's just a good, uh, non-hypocritical thing. You know, like I, I'm just trying to be what I needed. You know. And you know, the picture after your last fight, you know, with your tongue hanging out, just it was one of those things where it's like, yeah, you lost the fight, but 
Right. It was you were still having a great time. Yeah. And, and that was apparent. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it's apparent you love what you do. What was a turning point for you for getting from where you were to this mindset today? Uh, getting beat up a whole bunch. <laughs> no, um, I mean, yeah, getting getting beat up a whole bunch. Uh, I don't know. Like, uh, I think I've always been pretty pretty uh, positive. You know, like I mean, I, I don't know exactly what what it was, but I mean, I've always been pretty positive and and tried to look look for the hallucinogens <laughs> the hallucinogens <laughs> probably helped me out a good amount uh yeah man i mean i just always try to look for the positive and like like uh life's all about perspective you know and like i mean i have definitely had the wrong perspective in my life before and yeah, i mean if you wake up and be like this day is going to be shitty it's probably going to be shitty you know and like mm-hmm. if you wake up and look for the positive things and you know and like the way the way it can be better. You'll probably make it better, you know? And like, I mean, I don't know if I can pinpoint exactly what it yeah. was. I mean, I think, uh, I've been trying to motivate myself and, and keep myself inspired for years in this long, rough road of fighting. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like something, something happened. Yeah, that I'm not did, sure, but I'm happy. <laughs> did making it into the UFC change your perspective or make you, did you finally, did you have a moment of like, wow, all right, I did it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I have told myself countless nights of through all of the tears and all of everything and and people stopping believing in me and and everything that like I had it that I, I was what the world wanted like I I have it I'm a bonus fighter I I can do it I I can do it like uh uh I got it I don't yep. know what it is but I got it I got the personality I got what people I got what the people want you know, and like I've said this for years and years and years. And I mean, there have been times where I was like, fuck, man, like, do you have it? Like, you know, <laughs> oh, shit, you know, and and so, you know, like <clears throat> taking the fight on 36 hours notice and coming out and, and doing amazing and getting the bonus and just everything like that just validated me as a person. You know, like, I mean, I've always I've always believed in myself because, fuck, dude, I wouldn't have done this hard ass life if I haven't always believed but like now I know, like I I realize, like oh I do got it. And even though I just fucked up a couple weeks ago and like didn't perform very well and like whatever, like man that's life. Like yeah, so it can always be your best day, you know. Like uh, and and that doesn't mean shit. Like I still got it and wait for the next one, you know. Yep. When is the next one? How 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 soon do you want? to I don't know. I would that? like to fight like April or May, but you know we'll see, we'll see. I, it's not really in my hands, you know. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Anyone like in particular, or you don't really care? Uh, I don't really care. I, I believe we're dropping to thirty five. So okay. uh, I fought. He doesn't care. He he found out who he's fighting thirty six yeah. hours in advance. He's, he's a savage. Like, it doesn't matter to <laughs> him. Yeah. Don't care. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, for sure. I I don't. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think I think we're dropping to thirty five. I fought at thirty five a lot, and I kind of always have planned on. Uh, I quit going to thirty five because it was so hard. I wasn't making enough money, and like it was just like rough to cut all that weight right. and everything and uh but now so it's different i'd always right? planned on getting getting the big show and and cutting to 35 and so it's just yeah perfect and it's so much easier this is the best job i've ever had i got a nutritionist i got people helping me rehydrate i got everything it's just it's fucking amazing man for yeah. sure what do you walk around at i'm like 58 like okay. like normally, you know what I mean. If I haven't been drinking too much, you know what I mean. <laughs> like like I'll get about sixty five is like my the tops, and that's like eating ice cream, drinking beer, like going crazy. <laughs> so uh, yeah, about fifty eight, and I mean that's that's like a normal for a thirty five er. So yeah. yeah. After you lose a fight like that last one, are you like do you want to back in immediately? Kind of thing. Does it eat away at you, or you or you learn to deal with like okay. It is just one loss. I mean, it seems like you took it pretty good. Obviously, I know you're disappointed, but on social media, it seems like you you're all right. Yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it definitely it. While I I put out to social media and like I mean I believe what I said. I'm not I'm not lying. Uh, there's still inside your soul that you got to deal with you know what i mean it's sure. like like i know the truth but it's like hard to know the truth you know what yep. i mean and like so yeah like i i put i put that out there and i, I believe that and that's exactly how i believe but it, it took me a week or so to like get that and uh 
uh, James, I would imagine, is a good guy to be around. Had a, had for a conversation that, right? with James. Yeah, had a conversation with James, and like uh, they went home and uh, just kind of meditated on what he said, meditated on what we talked about, and just uh, just really thought about it and got over it. It it took me. I mean, honestly, like I got over my loss a few days ago. You know, what I mean, it took yeah. me a few days to fully get over it. You know, like I mean. Fuck, dude, it sucks, man. It's embarrassing, sure. man. The world is watching you. You mm-hmm. believe yeah. in yourself so much. I, I asked for that fight. I believed in my. You know what I mean? And right. Like, I, I definitely didn't fight, fight to my my ability for sure. Like, I mean, I kind of shit the bed, but uh, but whatever, man. It is what it is, and like the next one will be better. You yeah. know, like for sure. Uh, and so yeah, I mean, it took me took me a week or so, but uh, yeah, man, I'm I'm good now. So yeah. Did you watch the fights this past weekend? <clears throat> I did, yeah. What did you think of, like, for instance, yeah, I know you trained with Megan on a regular. Yeah. Megan had an opportunity and. Fuck, man. I mean, I mean Amanda's fine. Yeah. Amanda, bro. Uh, for yeah. sure. I mean, I put money on Megan. You know what I mean? Like, Me she's too. such a huge underdog. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why not? I was like, oh, fuck it. Why not make, try to make a little money? You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, and, uh, yeah, man. But that fucking overhand, bro. I don't know. Like, yeah. honestly, like. I'd like to train with her just so I could see how hard she hits. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Let, let me just see. Uh, I mean, because she's a beast for sure. You know, yeah. and like, dude, I like posted a, a picture of Megan fucking uh, hitting mitts before I one mean, of her fights that, yeah. a few fights ago. Bro, I'm still getting comments from just haters just fucking talking the most shit it's about so her. And crazy. it's just like, dude, like, if you're a guy talking crap about a woman <laughs> fighting, get a like, life. <laughs> you're like the biggest coward I, I know. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. Like, it's one thing to talk shit to a man, but like, right. come on, guy. And come on, she'd probably kick their ass. Stop yeah, it! And I didn't realize how tall ass. she was. Yeah. Oh, me, yeah, yeah. Megan's a fuck tall as shit. She's a beast. And for crazy sure. thing is, they released her, right? They yeah. released her. Apparently. They released her after yeah. the fight? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, I think yesterday or something. Oh, shit. Or at least yeah. I think I, I read it. I haven't spoken that to sucks. her. But, yeah, that's what she said on yeah. Twitch. Because, yeah. I mean, you should be allowed to lose to Amanda Nunes and keep your job. I mean, give me a break. Like, she's arguably the GOAT. Yeah. The females, no, I mean, right? I mean, she, she could be uh, how is she not? She could be the GOAT of the GOAT. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, like honestly. It's like her. Or two, or two title belts. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? You could say... Oh, there haven't been the the highest level women, you know what I mean? But like, right. it's been catching up. Like, right. that's just how it is. You, you can only fight you the can, person. You can only yeah. slaughter the lamb that's right. brought yeah. to you. And it, it yeah. wasn't that and long she ago. She slaughtered them all. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and, and she slaughtered them all. And it wasn't that long ago when people were saying no one's going to beat Cyborg. So, dude, and she or pieced Ronda her Rousey, up. Right? Yeah. Pieced yeah, her up. Dude. Yeah. 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 That was nuts. Yeah. For sure. And then who's calling her out now? There was somebody that was just calling out calling out Amanda. Julia. Pena? Yes. Juliana yeah. Pena. Yeah. 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 Pena. Yeah. 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 She's been. Yeah. She was on Ariel the other day, like calling her out like a lot. Really? Like, saying she's I didn't avoiding see me it. and this, that, and the other. She's not avoiding she's anyone. She's not avoiding I know, I anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's like, not. Yeah. That's, that's silly. That's yeah. a scary bee. And then what about the uh, Al Jermaine fight? So, uh, I mean, obviously, Al did a spectacular job to begin with. I yeah. thought his. his uh, strikes with his head movement like i mean i thought there was a lot of things he did really well obviously the pace he set is going to be hard for uh, a five-round fight uh most definitely i mean i i thought he did really well for the first three rounds you know what i mean he started started to to ease off a little bit but man like his head movement with every strike he threw his head was he was changing levels man there's a lot of things that i saw that i really liked about it and then man everybody's talking shit about all oh, he needs an oscar and oh Give like me a he, break. bro first of all have uh none of you have ever been needing the face no. i've been needing right. the face on my on my feet and this shit right fucking terrible. when you know it's you possible see these scars right like, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's fucking it's one, terrible right and he's grounded and took a knee full on to the face when you're not even exp- you're thinking that's not on the table and everybody's calling him a pussy it's crazy. And telling him he needs to get up yeah like and then so I really liked what Justin Gaethje tweeted and they like put it up on the thing. He said that at this point, like it shouldn't be on the fighter to continue. And like, I totally agree with that because like the ref saw the ref said like two seconds before he's grounded, he's grounded. Yeah. He saw him take a knee. Like it shouldn't be on the fighter to continue. You know what I mean? Because we all want to fucking not be a bitch and fucking fight and like all this stuff and we've been training, but fuck, man. Nobody wants to win a belt like that. And like, 
if you do fight again, bro, that's just so much. Like he got a concussion from that. Like I don't care what anybody. I'm not Absolutely. a doctor, but I've you can had, see yeah, he was out of it. I've had concussions. Right. Okay, yeah. I know. You know, so like it's just not cool to like have that on his shoulders. In my opinion, you I know agree. What I mean? And it's and funny like, you say that because we were watching the fight here on the yeah. 24 hour. We had it on during the 24 hour, and I was actually. A little upset, to be honest with you, because yeah, yeah. Because oh yeah, you were a little upset. I, okay, I was pretty upset. Yeah, because I felt that he shouldn't have been standing after you know up. You know when he wasn't being helped out of the ring, I just felt that you know the referee, the UFC as a whole, medically wasn't doing what they should have been doing. Yeah, and and like you said, you take it at some point. Fighters' mentality, an athlete's mentality is you want to play, you just want to keep going and going, right. and at some point. A coach, uh, um, uh, you the organization that has to take it, come in and stay, right. step in and say, "Listen, sit down, relax. We'll figure this out." Right. And I was, I was pretty agitated by that. I was, yeah, because you could see it. He in was space. out of it. Man. Yeah, yeah. He, that was no yeah. acting and job. Like, I mean, I he was out of. It. He got up and sat down. Four or five times. Yeah, he was like completely taken, out of it. Nobody's taking a knee to the face like that. And right. Because like, that's not. Old boy was throwing that knee. It wasn't a little baby <laughs> knee. No. Right? He ate that full on to the chin. Yeah. And like, that shit sucks. And I his know, corner told him to, to do it. I mean, come yeah. on, guys. And yeah. it's probably it sucks if you know that it could possibly come right when you're when your knees yeah, down. You could, be, you could be ready. for You're it. So, you're ready, right. but you're not right because right? yep. you're still getting caught right. probably. But at least you're in somewhere in the back of your head. You're like, I could get kicked. I could get kneed. Right. When you're down like that, you're like, it's just hands right. I'm worried about. Right. Right. right? right. And everybody's all like, I, I see people being like, oh, we need to change this rule. Fuck y'all. I'm not trying to get kneed on the ground. Get yeah. out of here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm no, good. No, no. You know what I mean? Like, No. Absolutely <laughs> not. I'm good. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. You know? I, I got enough shit to worry yeah. about. I'm not worried yeah. about that. Yeah. I'm yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah. And so when you're not fighting and you're not training and you're, it's a random Friday night, I'm almost afraid to ask, <laughs> uh, what's Kevin Kroom doing? Man, unfortunately, like, <laughs> I'm getting old. Tearing shit up. I'm getting old in these <laughs> days, man. I'm not doing much these days. How old are you now? Unfortunately, I am 33. Okay. So uh, I'm not really doing too much. Uh, sit on my couch a lot. You Netflix know, and I mean, chill kind of guy? Netflix and really? chill. Yeah, man. Uh I spend all my energy training, you know what I mean? Like, yep. and uh, honestly, if I'm staying up past 9.30, drugs need to be involved. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Like, so, you know. And who's, fight is, uh, who's fighting from Glory this weekend? Is it Eric that's fighting this weekend? No, no Witt, Jason Witt. Witt. Okay, Witt. Is, okay. Yep. yep. So. Eric is fighting this weekend, it though. It is, yeah. yeah. Anders, Eric Anders. Yeah, Anders. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Anders. He looks Anders. great. Did you see him at weigh-ins? Yeah. Totally shredded, like more than ever. Like, well, the only one I'm excited to see is Ige. Yes, you love your Hawaiian I uh, fighters. I yes, do. yes. Fifty K Ige, let's yeah. go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, man, he's a stud. Do you bet on the fights ever? I, I have been. He, I have been. Well, like, right. I mean, you bet on he, yeah. Egan. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know. I have um, been recently. Yeah. Are you a parlay guy? What do you? What do you? Uh, uh, man, I'm doing you go for the throat, James don't you? Says. I'm doing whatever James. Oh, says. okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm I'm trying to take. The wisdom from him and right. turn it into my money. You know what I mean, like, for I sure, like it. You know? All right, it's, yeah. it's it's yeah. I'm I'm amazed with you guys, I because I shit. I get a paper cut and I'm pissed. Yeah. By the way, my I'm song, not gonna lie, bro. I get a paper cut. I'm more pissed than getting punched in the face. There you yeah. go. Like honestly, scratch me. We got problems. Right. You can hit me, <laughs> kick me. I'm cool. Right. Uh, scratches. Yeah. Will. If I get a Velcro scratch from a glove, I'll get pissed <laughs> off. Like, I don't like it, you know? So right. I get your feeling. You All know? right. So going back to me for a second with a song. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, time. So time. If I had to do legitimate song, All right. it would be Dropkick Murphy's Shipping Out to Boston. Hey, I've done that. Yeah. yeah that's a great yeah. song. That's a pump. Wait, up. did you know he's it's done that? No, I did not. No, don't no, lie no. to me. I swear. This is like I my know. second amateur fight. So yeah. Really? Yeah, okay. I would have known that. You didn't know. All right. All right. That's a great Pump uh, up it song. Is. Yeah, man. Um, but if I was gonna do the Kevin way, yeah. I would go right said Fred, I'm too sexy. Nice. Oh, Ooh. nice work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now it took me about 40 minutes to think of those. No, things. that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. That. Yeah. No, that's good. That's a good one. Do you ever come up with a song and the UFC goes, No, can't do can't use it? Uh I mean, I no, I've only had only had two oh, fights for two, right? Yeah. Amendment, so no, I haven't done anything too crazy. Okay. So, you know what I mean? I, Nine to Five by Dolly Parton and uh, uh, What a Wonderful World. So that's nothing too crazy. <laughs> right. Uh, 
who knows? But Dolly we'll Parton's see. become like mainstream again in yeah. the last so couple I, months. I did that because my four year old niece dressed up as her as Halloween. Really? Okay. Like my sister played Jolene in uh-huh. the car, and my four year old that like that song touched my four year old niece, and she like is asking her all these questions about the song. She like asked her what Eyes of Emerald Green meant, and like right. all this stuff. Like. I can't believe this. A four-year-old is like taking this stuff in. And so she dressed up as Dolly Parton for Halloween. And like I'm there. And I'm just like, oh, this is the best thing ever. I'm going to come out to a Dolly Parton song. You know what I mean? Like yeah. this is perfect. You know? That's and, awesome. That's, yeah. that's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. So what is so what is uh, next for you? What do you – you're just going to go back to Kansas City and start training again pretty yeah, much? Yeah, man. I mean uh, I don't really know. Yeah, man. Just uh, I'm in camp all year round pretty much. I've taken since my fight. I've kind of taken off. I've been in the gym a few few times, but uh, uh, you're yeah, cornering man. next weekend, right? Yep, yep. I'll be I'll be here for uh, Grant Austin. He is fighting next week, and uh, is he an underdog? I haven't even looked at the I card. Do you know? I doubt it. I don't know. Uh, I think I think his fighter's undefeated, so maybe. I mean, I maybe. suppose he could be, but uh, but man, I mean, it, that blows my mind if that kid's an underdog. I hope right. he is. I'm gonna make some money. Uh, such a beast. I've I've been at a lot of really big gyms and nobody fucks me up like that kid. Really? I've trained with some of the best fighters there are and that kid every fucking day is a monster. He competes. He is a beast and I'm trying to be like him when I grow up. Minus like, two, he's minus 210. No shit. Oh, oh wait, no that okay so he's plus. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure his kid's undefeated, isn't he? I don't know. Uh Leonardo Santos. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. Uh, I just just aligns. Okay. At least he hasn't lost in the UFC. I, I'm I'm not exactly sure what it is, but uh, yeah, like I mean, uh, hasn't lost in the UFC at least. I'm not sure what yep. his record is, but uh, good tough fight. Good uh, when he beats him, you know, he'll he'll be right right where he should be. You know, like getting in uh, right. ranked contention. And you're a, you're a professional now on this whole quarantine in the hotel thing, right? Yeah, bro. It's that's garbage. What's that like? It sucks. I mean, you just you come in when on like Tuesday, Tuesday or something. Tuesday, take COVID test. So before, um, before when I first fought, in, so in September, and then I cornered a buddy in June, last June, they would let you leave. You would you would come in, test, quarantine. You could leave, and then you had to come back and uh, test again on weigh-in day and then you would quarantine again but you could leave in the middle yeah now you're in the hotel the whole time so like i mean you know i mean it just sucks it's nothing just right and then what do you do the with hotel. food wise do they are they bringing food to you guys or uh, no you're yeah so own. like i mean if if you're fighting the trifecta will will cook the ufc cooks for you but okay. like otherwise yeah you just have to door dash and whatnot and then yep. go pick it up in the lobby or wherever and they'll let you like go out in the parking lot. I see guys like, or at least I feel like last summer I did. I'd see guys like working out or something. Like you can do that. Yeah, yeah. That's if, as far as you can go. Yeah, pretty kinda. much. Yeah, like you have to go go out to the parking lot to do your COVID test. And like, depending on what's going on, we had like some of the uh, uh, the security like fighting with us, like trying not to let my people like go to the lobby to get like drinks and stuff. And like we had, like we had to make a big deal about it, and like call the UFC and be like, "Hey, like, what's going on? They're not letting us go to the lobby." And <laughs> you know, what I mean, like, yeah. So I mean, they're on their shit for sure. Uh, it kind of sucks, but I mean, when I was fighting, it's not a big deal because I'm not going to do anything anyway. You know what right. I mean? But uh, this this week cornering is going to be fun, just being stuck in the hotel room. You know? Yeah. <laughs> And what is your ritual when you're fighting? Like, would you have a? Do you do? The, are you kind of like a? Do you do the same exact thing every, before every fight, kind of deal? Or no, not really, man. Like, I mean, I've had so many fights. I mean, I'm like with everything, amateur, pro, pro boxing, kickboxing. I'm like getting close to a hundred fights. Wow, you know, that's and, like, a lot you, of fights. Yeah, it's like so, you do something so often, like you just can't keep up. You know what I mean? Like, I right. had a ritual when I was an amateur, but like after fucking 10 fights it's just like well fuck i'm tired of watching this movie like god yeah. like this food's getting old like i, I want to do something else you know so no not really uh i mean obviously i just try to try to focus and just have a good time man like uh that's the best week 
You know what I mean? Like you've just fucking trained so hard. All you've done is trained. I haven't wanted to be at the gym for like the last two weeks, you know, and I make myself get up and go every day. And so like finally it's just like kind of a week to chill and just have a good time. So I just try to enjoy life, you know. Nerves, nervous at all or Yeah, like it it depends. Like uh uh this last time I had some nerves when I first woke up a little bit and then about uh, you know, I mean, about by lunchtime they were gone, and I was fine. And then I don't uh, think I'd be able to sleep. Yeah, I mean, just did you did you ever like remember like in school? Well, you probably loved it, but like that, uh, you know, get into it with a kid early in the morning at school, and then you do like the I'll see three o'clock at the handball courts, like fucking awful. You couldn't, <laughs> you just wanted nothing to do with three o'clock coming. The just fuck were you doing? In yeah. school? No, you didn't have that ever. Where would yeah. you have handball courts at? Yeah. We had handball courts at school. Because like that was up, very up big, John, at the Jewish day school that I oh, went yes. to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hated that, man. I hated the fucking I'll see you at three o'clock. Fuck so that. I, my favorite part of school is, is the boxing matches I set up at lunchtime. Hey, like see? we would, yeah. we would, I, I like would like, you know, box like yeah. the whole football team and stuff and just like everybody i mean i just i love fighting yeah. you know kids would walk up to you they're like i'll see you at three o'clock you're like no nah, i'm actually already booked at three <laughs> um i could I probably squeeze you in i could squeeze you in around five depending on how long my four o'clock goes but uh just hang out i'll, I'll get to you when i can <laughs> yeah yeah kind of see, yeah i can see you doing like i've seen that on youtube that like backyard fighting shit oh, and i all did that. yeah so yeah for sure i uh backyard fought we had like our own little fight club for a little while, and then I fucked all my friends up, and they quit wanting to do it. You know what I mean? And then, uh, yeah, man. I mean, we used to just fucking set fights up with boxing gloves and just go like drive to the middle of nowhere and like fight in some parking lot. You know what I mean? And like, uh, yeah, I mean, like I'm not fighting anybody my size. I'm fighting fucking huge people. You know what I mean? So like, I didn't necessarily win all of them, but like, right. I ain't no bitch. You know what I mean? Right. Like, uh, I got down, but, but I you used won the street cred <laughs> war for sure, yeah. right? I used to go. We used to go to uh, parties, high, high school parties. You know, and like, uh, I would give my friends a pair of boxing gloves, and I would tell them to pick the person they thought could beat me, <laughs> and they did, and. Nah, they never beat me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like people would be going to get fucked up, and right. like I'm going to fight. Like, you know what I mean? like, yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Here I am. Yeah. <laughs> and what about other sports? Are you a football guy? Baseball? Any other sports or nothing? Yeah, only fighting. Yeah, o- only kind of fighting, man. Like uh, I enjoy athleticism. I I like like the highlights of stuff. Like I mean, I'll watch like a game and and, and enjoy it, you know. But like I just don't really care that much you know what i mean like yeah i see people who like if their team loses like they're fucking ruins their day and they're an asshole to be around and like yep. that, that it's that type of stiff that i'm like Ugh, this, this makes me not right. like it you know what i mean and like i don't get there that. was a time okay that i you know yeah <laughs> oh yeah Wait, who golden knights no no the yankees yeah oh like, i would be and the thing with Baseball, on a regular season game, I would be fe- like, "Come on!" I, I know I would get upset. <laughs> there's 162 I know games. That's the thing, you know, it's not right. like it's not <laughs> right. like a football game. You know, there's 16. It's not like a fight. Right. Where you only one, fight a few yeah. times. Yeah. They'll be back no. tomorrow. Yeah. Don't worry about no, it. I would get pissed. Really? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It was bad. Yeah. It would like change my day completely. Yeah. Wow. So I think like th- it's like that type of thing that right. like. Like has made me not like it as much. Like you know, what I mean, I just don't care about other. You got nothing people. invested in it. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. But like, I'll watch a highlight reel and be like, "Holy shit!" Like you know what I mean. Like when a while ago, like when Marshawn Lynch was fucking running through people, or like a uh, Ezekiel. Oh, yeah. Zeke Ezekiel, right? Yep. Is that, is that yep. right? When he's fucking jumping over the linemen and shit, like, yeah. that's amazing. Like, I love that. That was awesome. But I don't care other right. than, like, watching something really cool. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, and uh, when you are fighting and you win, I'm assuming your phone blows up, right? Everybody and their mother texting you, good job. Friends you haven't heard from in ages, yeah. right? I've seen both ways. Win so or lose, though. And then the, I was going to say, when you lose... Is it? Do you get the same in encouragement, or is it crickets? Uh, I mean, so I have always been very rich in relationships. I have, uh, I, I think, because growing up, I, and 
had a problem with my family. We we didn't get along that well. All this stuff. I think because of that, I have like geared my life to to having good, meaningful relationships. And so because of that, uh, I have a lot of people who really care about me. And I really care a lot about a lot of people. So yeah, I have a, a really good support system. Uh, but yeah, I mean, when you win, everybody loves a winner. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm definitely don't, and, and a 50k bonus. You know, yeah, you know, it just adds you know, to it. Hey, what are you I doing? Definitely, <laughs> I definitely don't uh, get shit talk, talked as much online. You know what I mean? Yeah, but fuck them, whatever. <laughs> and you're good with the family now, though, right? With the parents, yeah, and everything. Like, yeah, yeah, we we have a good relationship, but uh, good. yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, okay. Every, yeah. There's always yeah, for sure. normal family yeah, shit. Totally. Everyone has that. Yeah, totally. Right. For sure. Good. And no wife, no kids. Oh, God. No. <laughs> God, no. Ah. God, no. Oh, no. Nothing. I was looking at the tattoo though, on the forearm. What is that one? On this, it's uh, a. That looks fresh. It is fresh. It's a samurai? A samurai holding a bouquet of flowers because it is better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. Okay. I like that. So, Wait, how fre- like like in the last I two weeks? It, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I got it uh, last Wednesday. You like that? I noticed that. I can last tell. I'm Wednesday. impressed. I oh. mean, considering all your I don't know how, I, it's just like obvious. It's so like I got sh- I got like, lotion on it, so okay. it shines a little bit. You know. <laughs> I mean, all your tattoos. You know. Geez. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't even. You don't have any. No. I mean, oh. you should see me. You look. You should see me stub my toe fully I clothed. Yeah. You look like you would. Like I might have up. some tats. Yeah. Nah, I got nothing. Like I like that. I'll take up. that though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Up Respect. With the Raiders. With the Raiders Shit. cap on. Right. You look like you. And I just tatted. recently became a Raider fan. Oh, I, yeah, I uh, used to be a Cowboy fan. Okay. Uh, and they're just terrible, and I can't take it anymore. <laughs> so now that I'm in Vegas. I'm like, fuck it. I'm a Raider fan. All right. Yeah. But pretty. You know, I don't know how long you're gonna be wearing those beanies. Not much longer. No, that's true. I'm getting a hair. I'm bald on top. Not bald, but like I'm 50. What do you yeah. want from me? Uh, you know, and uh, I'm getting a hair transplant over at Las Vegas Hair Transplant. Travis Shulm. Hey-o. Yeah, look at that. An uh, uh, impromptu sponsor plug. Hell yeah. yeah, I'm going over to see Dr. Corsandi on Tuesday. Uh, no, sorry, next Thursday. Uh, and I'm getting a hair transplant, and I'm nervous. It's gonna hurt for sure. They're gonna take yeah, all the hair but from you'll have nice hurt. hair. Yeah, I'll have a good head of hair. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm stoked for you, man. All right, it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna send you before after. But believe oh, me, I'm yeah. gonna flood the internet oh, with yeah. before yeah. after. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. It'll be awesome. But like, they gotta shoot like nu- they gotta numb your head like with some shots. That's not gonna be fun. Right? Yeah, I, I you probably know. like that kind of pain. Nah, no, nah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, so obviously, I've had a lot of face stitches and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, probably I wouldn't say obviously. Really? No. It, oh wow. Yeah. Heck well, yeah. right I, there, I, like I, right I, on your eye, right there. Yeah. But keep that's like mind, an elbow. I'm also comparing it to the p- last pictures I've seen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. so I mean, I have. I mean, I probably got close to fifty stitches in my face. Like probably, really, really, probably. I mean, not and at the moment, you know. Right there, it probably always opens up, right? Always. Because actually, I'm like. Five fights without stitches. Oh shit! Heck you should have yeah. said that. Oh, oh shit! shit. Yeah. Actually, I've been. Saying yeah, you better. Is this even real wood? I don't even know. Fuck. We'll I think you're it. fucked. I don't even believe yeah. in it. So whatever. No. Yeah. Uh, but no, I've been saying it after every fight. I've been like, oh shit, we did it again. Right. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, and so yeah, man, that that's pretty cool. Uh, however, it's always the 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 sterilizer or the the numbness shit that hurts more than actually right. getting stitched up. So the last few times I haven't even got any any novocaine or anything or whatever. Really? That, yeah, because it doesn't that hurts to me more than, than getting the actual stitched thing. up. You know what I mean? So yeah. like, obviously if I was doing some serious surgery like getting a hair transplant, right. I probably wouldn't feel that way. But like just some stitches, just fucking stitch it up, bro. Whatever, you know. Right. And you said it hasn't opened up in the last five fights. Do you think is that because? Of a good cut man, or is that just because I'm getting a little bit better? Okay, I'm getting a little bit better. <laughs> although I wasn't very much better this last fight, you know what I mean? I think I got clipped kind of early, and just all my shit went out the window. But yeah. that happens, you know. Like Mike Tyson says, "Fucking everybody's got a plan until you get punched in the face." Yeah, for That's sure, for true, buddy. Good lord, <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, but yeah, yeah, man, just getting a little bit better. I think 
It's worth it's awesome. working out for me. Y you mentioned Tyson, which for some reason made me think about uh, the Triller boxing events that I guess he's a part of, uh, you know, with the Jake Paul and, uh, yeah, oh, uh, and Ben Askren. So do you have a prediction on that one? Tell me Ben Askren's going to win this fight, please. I can't baby handle it. Jesus, little three-pound <laughs> baby Jesus with golden fleece diapers, please. <laughs> Fuck, man. Like... We yes. can't we can't be subjected and, to the social I, media posts. I have never voted for Ben Askren. We are from like the same same town. He wrestled in Columbia, right? Missouri, you know what I mean? Right. Like as an amateur, as an amateur, <laughs> I got some beef with him. Really? You know what I mean, I mean it's stupid, but I, I, whatever. <laughs> uh, as an amateur, I went to like train uh, with him to get ready for a fight because uh, his gym had good jujitsu, and I was fighting the jujitsu guy, and so we like asked to go train, uh, and so I'm fucking training with him. He's got like 30, 40 pounds on me ish, you know. Yep. And uh, uh, so the first round, I end up taking his back, and then I like rode his back out for like. A few minutes, you know, like whatever. Round ends, no big thing. Next round, he's like, hey, what's up? You want to put gloves on and go pat, pat? It's a quote. That's a quote. You know, said go pat, pat. Right. Said, yeah, sure, whatever. He beat the fucking shit out of me. Really? I had two black eyes afterwards. Like, and like there was like one point where I'm looking at my coach just like, is Help this me. really fucking <laughs> happening right now? And then like my coach didn't do anything because like I didn't want... You know, like, obviously, like, fuck it, I'll take the ass beat. You know what I mean? Like, it was sure. more of just, like, I can't believe this guy's fucking doing this. You know what I mean? He's a fucking NCAA championship, uh, uh, Olympic gold medalist. Right. Or not gold medalist, Olympic bronze? Bronze? I, I think, think so. Uh, anyway, whatever. He went to the fucking Olympics. Right. And he's beating the shit out of, like, a 21-year-old kid. You know what I mean? Like, fuck that guy. I don't like him. Well, and, he was supposed uh, to be the savior of UFC when he came, you know, started, and he right. just got... Yeah. Yeah. Demolished. Yeah. Yeah. And, but anyway, I'm cheering for for this. For fight. sure. That's how much I can't stand this other guy. You know yeah. What I mean? like, we can't be subjected sure. to the uh, social media yeah. posts. It's a joke. I mean, yeah. I, it's so stupid. Dana said he wants to bet a million dollars. He'd bet a million dollars on uh, <laughs> on Ben. <laughs> Makes me a little crazy. nervous. <laughs> God, that's pretty Dana, crazy just throw me some money. I mean, come say, on. Yeah. That's like that's like ten dollars for you and I. You right. know? Jeez. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's nuts. And then, and then, old boy countered with, "Let's make it two million. Right? Kind of gotta like the confidence, though. Like, fuck, he's not kidding. God, dude, that'd be funny nice. thing is, he's like, but well, put it in escrow. Like, come on, dude. Like, you need Dana White to put the money in escrow. Dana White just going, it's a bet. Yeah, it, it's you're fine. good. You you're don't, good. you don't need the money in escrow. No, stop was it. it. Which Paul brother fought uh, Nate Robinson? The same one, yeah. Jake. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, Jake is two and, and zero, and right? To be honest, he's who fucking cares. He's two and zero. He beat up a basketball player and he beat up a, a rapper, right? Or a, was it oh, a rapper? Wait, wait oh. is he two and zero? Because I thought he. Oh had no! Right, a, he's he one and one, a, right? Yeah, because yeah, he had right. a. Uh, Logan's uh, two and I don't know. Uh, Logan, I don't the, uh, know. who can tell him apart? First yeah. of all, Logan and beat the um, uh, the English, the African American broad YouTuber. Or wait, whatever. is he English or is he Afri that African American? I don't know. Me either. Good point. But yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say anymore in these yeah. fucking times. The yeah. fuck you're knows, not allowed to. Right? No, here, oh, story. God. I, I know what you're going to say true now. Story. All right. It's a true story. Go ahead. Get this. So <laughs> the other day I was looking at jobs, and I was applying for a job, and the, one of the questions on it is, when you were born, what did you identify as? <laughs> that was the first question. It's a legit question. Look, second question, what do you identify as now? And then the third question was, um, what is your sexual orientation? This is on a fucking application. Well, yeah, so why does because that makes a damn on. bit of difference if yeah. Like, I don't yeah. ask me. Completely I don't know. Legit too. Yeah. yeah. What What was the job? It was for a um, a. Um, like travel. a hooker, I no, get yeah, it. exactly. No, <laughs> you know it was I mean? for like a, a travel position, like a hospitality position. Huh. Yeah, I was blown away yeah. by it. Yeah, Would that's you crazy. Identify. When yeah. you were, Needless to when say, you're in the womb, with what the, were you yeah. thinking yeah. about? Yeah. You know? yeah. What's going on uh, in this were world? Were you male, female, or oh. undetermined is what it says. Right. Crazy. <laughs> undetermined. Fuck. Fucking world lost its mind. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm.
We were, it was, we were supposed to reverse. You know, we did the 24-hour podcast last year, and like four days later, the world ended. So we thought, okay, we'll do it again this year. It'll be like a superhero movie or whatever. We'll fucking reverse the... It didn't work. It didn't no. work. I actually no. think it, it's not bad. It didn't work. I no? It's not bad. It's getting no. better? You know, Golden Knights went from 15% to 20%. Okay. You know, it's it's going the right direction. All right. All right. You know, I'll Biden said it. by May 1st... Dak everything. Prescott signed with the oh, Cowboys. Man. I might go back to Dallas. So this is going to be a Dallas beanie How's that by next leg? week. I don't know, but I just love that he got paid 160 million. Hundred and he yeah, broke he his leg like, like year that by year, ankle. wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, okay. 160 million, 120 guaranteed. That's insane for football. Go Dak. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, it was really good sitting down with you, man. Thank this you. was a bonus. Julian Marquez hits me up last night. He's like, "Hey, Kevin Crooms in town. You want to have him on the show?" I'm like, "Fuck yeah, of course I do." Uh, of course I do. Julian's like becoming. Julian's a, pulling his weight for yeah. the action junkies right yeah, now. Yeah, he had Maki last. Yeah, you know, so that yeah. was awesome. So, yeah. Go oh, Julian! Yeah. Oh, all yeah. right, great guy. Uh, all right, Let's man. Let's not get carried away here. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's shit. We He's will, my teammate. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we'll definitely be putting you in all parlays on your next uh, on your next Let's time go. in a cage Hell proudly. Yeah. And it was good. Uh, it was good talking to you, Kevin Likewise, Kroom. man. I had Thanks, a ton Kevin. of fun. All right, Appreciate come back it. and let's do it again. Let's go. All right, heck yeah. We'll see you guys. Rock and I'm roll. I'm done. It's over.